I was hoping that I could use the swing. Even though I really can't get to use anything or go on the swing or anything like that, I'm so glad I'm, I get to leave the house. It's, it's been a rough three weeks. Don't get me wrong, it's good to stay in because I know with everything is going on, we definitely need to stay home. Um, so staying home is not so much of a bad thing, it's for our own good, but finally getting out and getting to feel the sun, it's it's really good, I can't complain. That's something I definitely can't complain about. Can count on one hand how many people are here. It's not a busy park, it's not a busy day. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is a part two of a video I posted a few days ago talking about expenses here in Canada. If you haven't yet seen that video, click the link up here to watch it. In this video, I'll be talking about working part-time and paying your tuition. My thumbnail says that I work part-time to pay my 8,000 plus tuition, but there's a lot that goes into it. But before we get into that, let's crunch some numbers. In the video I posted last week, I talked about monthly expenses being $1,267. Here in Alberta, the minimum wage is $15 per hour. So say you're working off campus and you're getting your full 20 hours for the week at $15 an hour. You're looking at around $300 for the week. But I'm going to use an online payroll calculator to calculate what your taxes will look like per month so you can have a better idea of how to budget and estimate what your net income will look like. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is type payroll calculator, which is already automatically filling out for me. And then you're gonna to wanna to select the option that says payroll deductions online calculator canada.ca. And then you want to make sure that this is your landing page. So scroll down to the bottom, 
where it says use the calculator and just select I accept. And then on this page, it automatically selects salary for you and that is what you want to calculate anyways. So just select next. And then on this page, you just want to put some information in. So I'm just going to put the truth. And then the employer's name, I'm going to use Biz Hub. And then I'm currently in the province of Alberta. And the pay period frequency is bi-weekly, which is just a norm here. And you want to put the year, the month, and the date. You can use anything. Just make sure it makes sense to what you're trying to do, guys. Okay, so the salary here. So say you're working 20 hours full for the entire week and you're getting paid $15 an hour. You're getting paid bi-weekly, but for the week you're getting $300. And for the two weeks, you're looking at $600. So just put $600 here. And then your vacation pay, you're entitled to get your vacation pay from your employers. And that's 4% of your salary. So 4% off 600 is $24. So you just want to put that there. And then just select next. On this page, you don't have to select anything. Just move on. Just hit calculate. And then here you go. So this is the result page. On this page, you'll see the information that you put in, your name, the company's name, and the pay period frequency. And then the total here is $624. And these are the deductions that will be taken from your total cash income, which leaves you with a net amount of $583.69, okay? All right, so let's move on to some more calculations. For most schools here in Canada, the program that they offer spans fall, winter, and spring summer session. So fall is September to December, winter is January to around first week of April, and then you have the spring summer session that starts around May to around June, which means within that period of time, you're only able to work 20 hours off campus. That's it. So that leaves you with two full months that you can work full time. But working throughout the semester and then working full time isn't really enough to pay your tuition and your expenses. Let's find out. I'll be looking down a lot because I have some numbers here that I'll be coding for you and I want to make sure that I quote the right numbers for you guys. Hi guys, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. And don't forget, click the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Working from September to June at 20 hours per week for $15 per hour, you're looking at around $1,167.38 after tax. And multiply that by 10 months, you're looking at around $11,678.80. And working for the two full months that you're going to have for the break, you're looking to make after tax using the payroll online calculator that we used earlier. $4,141.48. So for the year, you're looking at around $15,815.28. And that includes for the 10 months that you were working for the 20 hours per week, along with the two full months that you're working $4,148.48. Remember the expenses that we calculated in the previous video comes to $1,267 per month. And for the year, you're looking at around $15,204. Working for 20 hours per week for the 10 months and then working for the two full months, you can see that you're only able to cover your expenses. You're not even close to touching your tuition. Now this leads me back to how am I able to pay my tuition using my part-time job. I'm only able to do that because I have a financial support my husband. So we have this agreement where we decide, okay, he pays the bills and other living expenses and I work and pay my tuition. And wherever I fall short, he will help me to make it up. That is the only way I'm able to do this. And that's just the fact of it. You're not going to be able to work and pay your tuition if you're also paying expenses because we're limited to working 20 hours per week. And then you're not going to always get 20 hours. The calculation that I made earlier, that is an assumption that you're getting 20 hours full 
for the entire week. You're scheduled based on when your employers need you. If they estimate that they're only going to need you for 12 hours, you're only going to get 12 hours. And a lot of students make the mistake of planning their academics based on the fact that they can work part-time and pay their tuition, but they forget to factor in unexpected variables like getting laid off or getting fired, not getting a job in the time period that you're hoping to get a job, not getting your full hours for the week, amongst other things. Even though the calculation that I mentioned earlier is 20 hours per week at $15 an hour, you can see clearly that you're still not able to cover expenses plus tuition. But if you have a strong financial support, you're able to do it. And that is why when you're applying for Canada, they tell you that you need to show some proof of funds, at least $10,000. I'm not sure if it's more now, but that's what I had to show when I was coming here. But in all reality, it's not going to be easy to work part-time and pay both your expenses and your tuition. You will be able to do it for your expenses, but not the tuition. That's just the fact of it. I know this sounds doomy and gloomy, but I did this to give you a better perspective and to help you to budget and plan accordingly. Okay guys, that's the end of another video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please go ahead and leave it down below. If you have any topic that you'd like me to talk about, go ahead and also leave that down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell to be notified when I post a new video. I'll see you next time on my next video. Bye guys.